own fine hair and want it to look thicker, there are hacks for that. Here to help you pump up the volume, Sarah Lund. <laughs> that are going to be uh, our models for this demonstration. And, you know, a lot of people have fine hair. We have so many women yes. come into the show all the time with that. And it's nice to know how you can just make it look like you have a bit more volume. This is Excelia, and you're yes. going to start by talking about the ponytail look. Start with the ponytail look. Yes, I, I love a ponytail. It's just a really classic look. It can look glamorous. It can look sporty. We can kind of live in a different, a few different places with the ponytail. Yeah. But sometimes when we pull it up and condense the hair, it gets a little bit too small. Right. So one little trick, if I turn Exelia to the side here. Mm -hmm. And um, so I've already pre-put the ponytail in, so we're ready. But if we take an extra ponytail holder, one of the thicker ones, yeah. um, and put it right behind the one that's there, we end up with that ponytail sticking out farther from the head and getting a little bit more oh. bulk to that ponytail. So just by having a bigger elastic holder, yes, you bumped two. it up a little, yeah. and two. Okay, that's a good idea. So we'll put that in. When all that fails, you just go buy a ponytail and just go shove buy it in there. Yeah. Or buy some hair, throw some tracks in there. Or just buy hair, exactly. Just buy some hair. So that, but this works too. That just gives us a little bit more lift away from the head. Yeah. And now we want to make the actual ponytail bigger. Okay. So we're doing a little bit of teasing. Yeah. And I know we have to be careful with teasing because we don't want the hair to look messy. Right. Right? So it's always important that whatever sits on top is always hidden. So okay. it always hides everything. Hides everything else. Yes. Like the nest that's underneath it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's all an illusion. <laughs> yeah. It's all an illusion. Actually, would you mind holding not that a, for not me? Not a Perfect. problem. I will be your assistant. So I also like to tease the hair with uh, like a teasing brush. So they okay. make an actual teasing brush. Mm -hmm. So that helps to get rid of tangles. And also it makes the tease softer. Okay. So I just always do one, two, three little tease. Yeah, bit so we're not getting too much in there. So just a little back comb goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. You don't have to way. rough it up. Yeah. Just give it three, two or three little uh, back combs, and then it's going to look thicker. It's going to look thicker. And so that's what one, you're looking for. Two, four for good measure on that one. Yeah. And then we'll just spread it out. And when we bring everything over, we'll use that piece that doesn't have any teasing mm -hmm. to kind of cover and smooth over and hide all the rest. Very nice. Okay, what a simple way to make your pony look a little fuller. Yes. Now, I know you were gonna talk a little bit about the hairline as well. Yes, the hairline as well. So sometimes, when we, especially when you have a darker hair color and you go to pull your hair back, mm -hmm. you see those little bits of like scalp shining mm -hmm. through. So, we're going to use an eyeshadow hack. This is smart. And women with alopecia or you're having other, you know, areas of the hair that are a little bit thin and you might be self-conscious about that, Try your eyeshadow. Yes, so I like to go for a color that's just slightly Sweet. lighter than the hair color. Yes. So it doesn't look too um, like too matte or yeah. too heavy. Right. So we just kind of pat it into the spots. Mm-hmm. Because you're not trying to look like Prince. Remember? Black. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. We'll you need it to look that. a little bit, uh, a little bit more just gradual and soft. So I actually use an eyeshadow brush, or sorry, um, an eyebrow brush to apply, and then just take a bigger, softer, smooth brush mm -hmm. and blend it all out. Very nice, Sarah. I love that. Okay, let's move over to Victoria now, uh, and let's talk about how we're going to uh, deal with finer hair here. With finer hair, we just want to make the overall silhouette look bigger yeah. um, while still being able to wear the hair down, right? Okay. Because fine hair, we still want to wear the hair down. So um, it kind of starts with the blow dry. So we yeah. want to use a product to give us a little bit of texture. And I just like to blow dry the top in multiple different directions. Right. Just to get a lot of lift off the scalp. And I always love a side part when we want to bulk the hair up. Mm -hmm. And then a little trick. So we're going to go here. And do you guys remember a little zigzag part from the 90s? Totally. So I'm just going to go right in into that. And do a little zigzag part on there. So when we don't have that hard part, it just makes the hair have nice kind of lift. That's right. right off the scalp right there. Okay, so what is it about doing that side part that gives us that lift? Is it just because you're you're forcing the hair in a different direction? Yeah, we're forcing the hair in a different direction mm -hmm. and uh, it's that kind of clean part really collapses the hair down. Mm -hmm. So those like little kind of peaks and valleys give us a little bit of lift off the scalp. Nice. 
And is there anything you want to use in her hair to give it a little bit more volume? Yes, I love a powder product. Okay. So a little powder, there's lots of different kinds of powders on the market, but these are nice because you can revive the volume. Okay. So as you go along, we just kind of rub that in right on that first inch of the hair. Yep. And then you can revive as the day goes along. And it completely disappears. And it completely disappears. And just to make sure it's soft, we'll finish with a little bit of conditioning spray. Very nice. I love that. 